this is the mounting plate that's on the base of it. This is what it was mounted before. Um, I made for my old van, um, and it worked quite well. I found the only thing was, you see where the dirt's built up on there. A bit of that's wax oil, but uh, where this dirt is built up, uh, it was exposed. To, the floor section was exposed. So I decided to buy a, a proper mount for it this time off eBay. Um, just a stainless steel plate for all the bolts it bit fits on like this but this little collar that's on it just protects the uh, the floor from having rubbish build up inside it unfortunately in my van I think the floor is thicker than this but these are pretty made up pre I got in touch with the guy who makes them he wasn't going to make me um, another one up so I could only get this size uh, but yeah if you could have this made up uh, having it made up a little bit deeper than this is probably advised so I uh, ordered the same time the um, correct size hole saw to be able to cut this hole out so hopefully it should be pretty neat as well um, save jigsawing out as I did last time so by having a look um, underneath the van um, I've worked out I can fit my hole just between these two crescents here and that comes out inside the van um, in a position that's acceptable to me I worked that out by just using um, a pilot hole and having a quick look inside outside um, and just working it through so now it's just a case of um, getting the old mounting plate off the heater um, or giving it a little bit of a clean up, getting all the pipe work off and fitting our new um, mount to it. So um, I got the old mount off and just gave the um, tubes that come out of the unit itself a quick clean up. Um, the hot side was a little bit more corroded than the cold side so definitely worth doing this, just try and get a decent seal on the exhaust. Um, the last time I waited until afterwards to, after I'd mounted the plate and the unit to put all of the pipe work onto it and I found it quite difficult um, to get into this recess here so I've just taken the time to put this uh, exhaust pipe on. It's worth working out which angle you want the pipe to face um, as once it's bolted on obviously if you get it under the van um, it, you don't really want to be bending these pipes locks because it will break. Um, as you come to get your old pipe off, what you might find is that it unravels like this. So it might be worth um, cutting it if it's an old pipe and then unraveling a section. At least you've got an old section you could use. I was lucky I had this new bit of pipe lying around so I can just use that. Um, I've opted as well. I'm just going to replace all the nuts and washers. Um, washers are spring washers and you don't have to over tighten them. Just enough so that they're not going to loosen. With the fuel lines, it's a case of putting um, a rubber hose on and then the fuel main fuel line is a rigid pipe. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a tutorial in the fuel line installation um, section, uh, probably part two of this video series, so uh, make sure you check that out and that will go into a bit more detail on this. The black pipe I fitted there is just the um, intake for the unit's burner and it's jubilee clipped on. As I mentioned earlier, the flange on the mounting plate isn't deep enough so I'm opting to add a bit of flash banding around it just to help seal that gap and stop any road spray um, getting into my floor. So I've dropped um, the unit and the mount just down through the hole um, and as we can see here the flash band is just going to be folded over into place. I'll probably have to put a bit of flash band primer on the other side of the van just to get this to stick and use a heat gun um, but we'll get that in place. Uh, the exhaust um, and the inlet are both hanging down. With the exhaust and the inlet, both need to be a minimum or maximum size, so it's a minimum of 20 centimetres long exhaust, maximum of 2 metres. This is the exhaust silencer. I'm just going to mount around here somewhere. I'll probably have to modify the bracket a little bit, but that shouldn't be a problem, so let's get that done now, eh? Voila! Using the magic of speeding things up, I've got that done, so... You can see we've got the exhaust mounted just here to an existing hole in the van, just used a bolt um, and a bracket I had available. Could just use a piece of bent um, sheet metal for that. I've also got the exhaust silence mounted, I had to modify the bracket slightly. I did that just by putting it in a vise and beating it around a bit. Don't be afraid to modify the brackets if you need it to um, sit in a certain place. Um, that's totally fine, they're just a, literally a piece of sheet metal. As for the intake, um, I've just cable tied it to my handbrake. Totally fine, just as long as it's out of the way. So, got the unit in place as you can see here. All I've got to do is put a, um, a screw in the base just there and that's it fully down in its final position. What I'll do is I'll blank off the front cover here um, and that's it. We've got to be careful to leave enough space around it, but other than that, this is um, now done. Fantastic, that's the unit um, installed. Thanks for watching again. Be sure to check out part three installing the fuel lines and fuel pump. Um, and if you've not subscribed already, do that and it'll keep you up to date as these videos become available. Thanks again. Bye.